Hello and welcome to our Inspire Quick Guide series. The following tutorial will be an introduction to scanning. We will be demonstrating how to align a cloud to a CAD model, extract features from a cloud, add callouts to features for reporting, create a comparison between scan data and the design, and also how to generate regional callouts. Let's begin with a new file containing a portable arm. Import a model by selecting the first icon in the CAD menu. Next, choose the type of alignment you wish to perform. For this demonstration, we will be using Cloud to CAD. Since the cloud has not yet been scanned, simply press Enter at the prompt. If only one model exists in the file, Inspire will automatically recognize it as the CAD to which you are aligning, and therefore no selection is needed. You have the option to measure a clipping plane, as shown here, in order to eliminate excess scan data. When ready to scan, iterate to the cloud task in the measurement pane by pressing the assigned button on the arm. When you turn on the scanner, you will see that the icon changes in the heads-up display from probing to scanning. At the bottom right of the graphical view is a number in green, which represents the number of cloud points being collected in the current scan pass. The number of voxelized cloud points currently displayed in the graphical view is listed below it followed by the total number of points in the cloud. You may change various properties of the alignment, such as the tolerance of the fit and the maximum point count used in the transformation. Once scanning is complete, select the Extract from CAD icon in the Features tab and choose which features you would like to extract by gliding over them with your cursor and clicking on the highlighted feature. If a cloud exists, Inspire will automatically assume that the user wants to compare the measured scan data to the corresponding extracted feature. Callouts are an excellent way to visually depict actual to nominal comparisons. By selecting the callout icon in the reporting tab, you may then choose the features you would like to display from the tree. The callout display provides a summary table of the deviation between the actual and nominal data. Toggle through the various display methods by first selecting the arrow at the top right to expand the table, showing a more detailed view of the feature comparison. Choose the minus if you wish to simply label the object, or select the plus sign for the default summary view. You may left click and drag the callouts to rearrange them. Hide all the callouts simultaneously by clicking the eye to the right of the callouts folder in the tree. Next, let's create a comparison of the cloud to the CAD model. Expand the colored cloud section in the cloud to CAD alignment properties and check the Make Cloud box. Change the tolerance in the summary section to display high and low deviations on the part. There are many different colorization methods to choose from, such as 16 discrete colors on a red to blue spectrum. And finally, let's add localized deviation callouts to the cloud. Head back to the reporting tab and select the Create Regional Callouts icon. Click any location on the cloud to display its deviation from nominal. A cloud point will be extracted as an anchor where the error is reported based on data inside a spherical zone surrounding it. Expand to a more detailed view and rearrange them just as we demonstrated earlier with the feature callouts. The quick drawing feature in the reporting tab allows you to take a screen grab of the current view and turn it into an editable 3D drawing by double clicking in the drawing editor. The editor is an excellent tool for creating drawings in a report and for generating report templates. Callouts may also be rearranged in the drawing editor. Each object shown in the view has its own layer in the panel to the right of the editor, and each layer may be shown or hidden. 
You may also resort the order of the layers to place an object on top of or behind another entity. Use the text tool to add a text box to convey important information about your project. You may also resize and move the box to a different location. Close out of the drawing and select the Report Creation icon to assemble all of your information. Choose any items that you would like to add to the report by selecting them in the tree and press Enter when finished. Notice in the Properties panel that both the title page and any other page templates may be customized. To take a look at the finished product, choose Show Report in the Properties panel. Discover all of the customizable reporting options we have available in Inspire today. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact discoverinspire.com.